Today is indeed one of those days that is firmly etched in the annals of the Ceylon Chamber of Commerce. It is a day that signifies a milestone Tuesday, the 25th of March. It marks 174 years of the Chamber being among the business sector of Sri Lanka. And coinciding with this landmark, and also considering that the Chamber has always uh, enthused and promoted and encouraged being part of the corporate sector of Sri Lanka to empower business and develop various industry sectors which would eventually sustain the national economy. We celebrate today another initiative, a pioneering initiative I may say, of the Ceylon Chamber of Commerce in empowering budding ICT entrepreneurs in Sri Lanka. What you see here on the backdrop, Spark IT, is an initiative that acknowledges, honors, and recognizes recipients with innovative startup platforms that empowers ICT entrepreneurial developments across the country. And this is the brainchild of the Chamber's ICT Steering Committee, which, as its mandate, remains committed uh, by using a dedicated team of CEOs drawn from the ICT sector in Sri Lanka. For this endeavor, the Salon Chamber of Commerce is supported by platinum sponsor Edsela, event partner Venture Engine, strategic partner Slascom, national partner ICTA, and award sponsor Brandix, Dialogue, John Keels, and MAS Holdings, with sponsors Microsoft, 99X Technology, Orion City, HZENIT, IFS, and Informatics. We want to say a big thank you to each and every one of you, because without you, this would not have been possible and you are in fact driving that engine of ICT entrepreneurs. So without too much ado, I would like to invite the Vice Chairman of the Ceylon Chamber of Commerce, Suresh Shah, to deliver the welcome address. Hundred and seventy-four years old, I suddenly feel very young. Ladies and gentlemen, a very warm welcome and good evening to all of you. This is a wonderful occasion because it's very rare that we see the birth of enterprises purely as a result of entrepreneurship. It's, very, it's not too difficult, I was about to say very easy, but that's not true, but it's not too difficult to start off new companies when you have a lot of resources at your command. But when resources are limited, and uh, in this case, when it's fundamentally ideas that drive the, 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 the new enterprise, it's not easy merely to start such an enterprise, but it, is, it takes even more courage sometimes to discuss these ideas even with your friends. So the fact that we are giving birth today to some new enterprises makes it a wonderful occasion. And Hans, uh, to you and your team, uh, the ICT Steering Committee of the Ceylon Chamber, we owe a deep debt of gratitude because I know you all have done a wonderful job with this uh, initiative. Uh, it's been like uh, Savitri said, uh, a group of dedicated CEOs from the sector who've come together to drive this really great initiative. The idea itself was wonderful and bringing it to fruitation like you have done is indeed very encouraging. In fact, I was telling Hans when we were meeting out there just a few minutes ago that we should try and take this to a next level where we look at not merely ICT entrepreneurs but also the entrepreneurs in other businesses as well. So that's something for the Chamber to look at going forward. In terms of those of you who start on an exciting journey this evening, let me say just a few words. Firstly, remember that you will face obstacles. Life's never easy, new businesses are even more difficult, so you will have obstacles going forward. But when you do have obstacles, Remember the river that meets a boulder. The river first tries to flow around it, failing that it goes over it, and finally it goes through it when all else fails. So two messages here fundamentally. Think smart and never give up. 
And secondly, success doesn't come merely out of ideas or resources. Success is a part and parcel of commitment, of dedication, of never giving up. So those of you who are starting life today as entrepreneurs have taken up an idea, have committed to an idea, don't lose that commitment. That commitment is exceedingly important. And thirdly, and finally, remember that you have selected a sector which, unlike any other sector, gives you the opportunity of being a startup today and being a world beater in a few short steps in a few years' time. Think of Microsoft and Apple. These were companies that started up not too long ago, but today they dominate the world. So dream big. And that's the third idea or the third suggestion. Thank you very much, Mr. Shah. There were lots of words of truth there. One being that starting off to sell ideas is certainly not easy, especially when it comes to just ideas only in your head. And to tell you more about the project, how it began, the genesis and the landscape and the backdrop, I would like to invite the chairman of the ICT Steering Committee, Dr. Hans Vijayasuri. Vice Chairman of the Chamber, uh, Mr. Hari Malvata, Secretary General, members of the ICT Steering Committee, and all participants, supporters, sponsors, partners uh, of this event. Uh, I don't want to spend too much uh, or take too much of your time this evening and be between the function and the giving away of the awards, uh, but uh, let me just share with you some of the thinking which brought us uh, together at the chamber uh, to initiate Spark IT and also to focus on entrepreneurship in particular. The chamber, as you know, um, is much focused on building the competitiveness of Sri Lanka, uh, bringing together uh, the weight of uh, corporate Sri Lanka towards building the competitiveness of the country and uh, of business in general. And the subcommittees are then tasked with uh, devolving and taking forward the agendas in the various sectors along this broader theme. So tasked with building competitiveness in the ICT sector, uh, the steering committee, when we first met uh, at the beginning of the latter part of uh, last year, uh, attempted to focus on a few key aspects, a few key milestones which we could take to fruition and thereby contribute even in a small way to the competitiveness of ICT as a national agenda. As you know, if any of us were to sit down and take a list of things to do, it will be very, very long. But if you look at national competitiveness and if you look at ICT, I think we have in our hands a phenomenal resource in terms of talent, in terms of capacity, in terms of innovation, in terms of drive. But if you compare Sri Lanka's ICT ecosystem with some of the more developed markets, whether it be in Europe or Silicon Valley or even India more recently, uh, we would see that the missing ingredient is the combine of talent, innovation and capital. All these great ICT centers of excellence and centers of innovation have managed to crack that formula to bring innovation, talent, and capital together. Uh, Sri Lanka has made, I must say, a lot of headway in this area, but I believe that we all need to get together to drive that message further and more aggressively. So the presentation of the four main awards this evening, there are four winners that have been picked from the 10 who are shortlisted today. And now, to hail our first winner, and the four winners are being called in alphabetical order. Learn together, grow together indeed. Atiram. Our first winner for the evening. And moving.
Halfway down the alphabet is our second winner. Ridgecrest Asia, Autos LK. Our second Spark IT 2013 award winner. So ladies and gentlemen, what we have is a solution that will empower producer and nation as well as the village. Search Sri Lanka portal. Award winner at the Spark IT 2003 Awards. As I said, this I have a better order. the Lankan Angel Network for organizing this uh, wonderful event and uh, the program. Um, we also like to thank our mentors and our participants because we learned a lot from you. Uh, the program uh, Spark uh, IT was a challenge and it was an eye-opener uh, because uh, we learned a lot about uh, creating a business plan, pitching to investors and I think most importantly we found out what investors are looking for when they are pitching when they're looking around five years. Uh, so thank you for organizing the event, and we'd like to end by uh, wishing the uh, wishing the chamber and the organizers and also the event uh, success in its mission to create a, a thriving uh, startup ecosystem in Sri Lanka. Thank you. So those are our four awardees for Spark IT 2003, Atara, Bridge Prestige, Autos LK, Search Sri Lanka Portal, and Top Dog Opinions. May I request the presenters to please remain on stage. And the young man from Top Dog Opinions, the innovator, the, um, the founder, did tell us that there was a mentoring program and thanked everyone like the others did before him for bringing this whole uh, awards program and also the lead up to it to Fusion. Now, who is responsible for this? And then we'd like to say thank you to Venture Engine and also to the co-founder of Venture Engine, who's the event partner here, Mr. Prajit Balasubramaniam. Thank you very much to not only Mr. Balasubramaniam, but the entire team who came forward, brought up this concept, innovated it, and put it to the chamber, and then even helped mentor the, uh, the applicants and the winners you see today, who are all, I'm sure, extremely happy to be chosen, uh, to be one of the projects chosen among those 60.